for my Facebook Live. Tonight I'm going to show you um, my product of the week, which is the Paper Pumpkin um, September Kit, which is called Frights and Delights. I'm going to show you how we put together the project that they have included in the kit, and then I'm going to show you an alternate project. Um, you can see that there are these three cute little treat bags, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy they go together. So, I have everything we need here. It comes with um, the treat bags, which there are three different colors, and I've already filled them with some candies. They come with little um, cardstock bases to keep them stable, so I'm just going to put those aside for now, just for um, time's sake. I had already filled them up. Um, you have your three tags, the three different tags that come with it, and they're already scored um, at two inches. I believe it's two inches. This one might be a little bit longer. Nope, this one's two inches too. Um, so you have all three tags. And I've already cut out, well, popped out the punches. So you've got your pumpkin with your silver base, your bat with your boo words, the eek words go with the pumpkin. You can actually do these any way you want. Um, you have your ghost and the ghost background that's going to make him sparkly eyed and the word spooky. Um, we've also got some stamps here. Your kit will come with a basic gray stampin' spot, um, but for time's sake I'm just going to use my larger pad because it's just easier for me to um, work with this one. So the first one that we're going to put together, let's do the um, the bat tag and I'm going to turn it this way and we're going to do Frights and Delights I'm just going to do a little test to make sure that it's stamping well. And we're going to stamp that near the bottom. And then for um, the ghost tag, which is on this Mango Melody tag, um, it's, we're going to stamp treats for you. There's my test. And we're going to stamp that down near the bottom also. And the pumpkin tag, which is on the Mango Melody border. We're going to stamp up just a little bit further um, than the bottom because we want to save room for the word eek. So we're just going to stamp right here. It's Halloween. So that's the stamping part. Now it also comes with this black baker's twine that has um, silver thread through it, which is really pretty. And they tell you to use three, um, 12 inches. So I'm going to cut three 12 inch strands of the baker's twine. And we're going to tie a bow up where the score is. So I'm just going to give that a little bend so that I know where the score is. And we're just going to tie a bow on each one. So there's one bow. Just like that. I'll fuss with it later. There's cat hair on everything. Because that's just the way my house is. And we're going to tie a second bow on this one. Here, and I hope some of you guys are joining me tonight. Um, if you can't join me live, you can always watch the replay that I will have up. Um, I'll also have it on my YouTube channel. And I will make sure that there's links for everything below. If you are watching live um, and you want to like and share this video, I will enter you in my randomly generated drawing, and um, the winner of that will win a set of what I'm making tonight. Not the paper pumpkin kit, but you'll you'll get a set of, of the, uh, the treat bags that I make, um, plus the alternate kit. I will mail those to you. 
and I hope anybody that's watching in the um, just north of me here in um, Massachusetts, north of Boston, we just had some gas fires. Um, there was some explosions, so I hope everybody is okay from that. Um, we used to live up near there, so you know I'm glad that all of my friends who checked in are okay, but you know I'm really worried about those who aren't. Okay, so here are your three tags with your bows around them. Now we're going to get these guys ready. We'll take the eek words, and it's on a sticker. So I'm just going to carefully cut that out, or pop that out, and we're going to put that on the middle one here where it says it's Halloween. Just have a little eek right there. And we're going to take the spooky and carefully take that off of the paper. And we're going to put the spooky above your words here on your treats for you. And then your frights and delights. We're going to take the word boo. And this one's a little bit thicker because it's the foil. So some of the middles didn't come out on that one. So I'm just going to take a piercing tool and I'm just going to right on top of my paper so that it sticks to that and not anything else. I'm just going to get rid of the middles. Um, I'm hoping any of my friends in North Carolina are also okay from the hurricane that just came through. We had some torrential downpours yesterday, but it's nothing compared to what you guys went through. So I'm hoping everybody's okay. So we're going to put the boo right above the frights and the lights right there. And we're going to take a Stampin' Dimensional, which are these little foam dots, and your kit will come with these. And I'm going to put one right in the middle of the bat on the back side. And we're going to pop that above the word boo. And I'm just going to move my ribbon to the other side. Let's fluff that out a little bit and I'm going to cut the ends so that they're a little bit shorter than they were because you don't really need that much hanging over. And I'm just going to put that one aside for now. Um, the next one it will have your pumpkin. So we're going to take the, I'm just going to turn this upside down so we're not glaring at you because I know my pot lights above me. This is my art studio where I do my painting and everything. So I have to have really good light in here. Um, so it's not always great for reflective um, surfaces when I'm taping. So we're going to take some of the blue dots that come with your kit. I'm just going to use some tweezers and I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the back of the pumpkin making sure not to have any glue in the eye holes or the nose cut out or the mouth. That way it won't stick to anything but what it's supposed to stick to. That one didn't want to come off so we'll just, we'll just pull it off. And you, you get tons of these glue dots in your room, in your kit. You're going to have lots of leftovers. There's actually, even if you make all 28 of these as um, gift bags, you're going to have a couple leftovers. So you'd still be able to make all of the treat bags and still make the alternate project that I'm going to show you. So we're going to take our silver backing and we're just going to line up the bottom of that with the bottom of the pumpkin. And just like that, he's got a nice, shiny, glowing face. And just like we did with the bat, we're going to... Helps if I take off all of the backings. There we go. Now he's really stuck. We're going to take some more of those dimensionals. And you probably only need about two. And I'm going to put them near the bottom because this is going to sit up above the fold line. So you want to make sure that your um, your adhesive is not above that line. So we'll just stick those near the bottom. And 
make sure I'm not covering up the It's Halloween. And there's that right there. We'll fuss a little bit with the bow just to make it a better size. Cut off the excess. And that's your second tag done. So this is really easy. I mean, even kids can sit and help you make these. And um, I think they would have a lot of fun um, putting these together with their classmates. Um, and if you haven't signed up in time to get this kit, but you sign up for next month's kit, um, sometimes if they have leftovers of the refills or the kits, you be able to purchase them, but you can only purchase them if you are a, um, if you're a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin. So lastly, we're going to take our ghost and just like we did with the pumpkin, we're going to take some of these glue dots and put them around where his eyes are. This one's a little easier to deal with than the pumpkin was because there's only two little spots where you'd have to worry about the adhesive getting. And we'll put about four just to make sure that it stays on. Because if you are giving these out to trick-or-treaters, you want to make sure that it stays together in their bag or their pillowcase or whatever they're using to collect their treats. If anybody even goes out trick-or-treating anymore, I know no kids come around here. Um, we have a like a party at the clubhouse um, at the apartment complex where I live where the... Um, the kids will come and they'll collect candy from there instead of going from apartment to apartment. So we'll put a couple of dimensionals on the back of your ghost. Towards the bottom again because he's going to stick up a little. And we'll put him on the last tag above the word spooky. And cut off the excess just like that. And then we're going to take our bags. Let's take the orange one first with our bat. And we're going to take, instead of using the glue dots just for time's sake, I'm going to um, put a little bit of adhesive near the bottom of both sides of the tag. And we'll just fold this in a little bit to make it neat. And fold it over once. And stick it onto the bag just like that. And you have treat bag number one. And let's see. Let's do the spider webs with the ghost. And again, a little adhesive near the bottom on both sides. you got to make sure it's on both sides or it'll only be sticking to one because it's got to go over both sides. So fold that down a little bit and press the front, press the back. And there's treat bag number two. And last but not least, we have this one with the little spiders that we're going to do with the pumpkin. A little adhesive on both sides. And press it to the front. Press it to the back. And there you are. There are your three treat bags. Um, you can fill them with whatever you want. I just happen to have some um, Halloween kisses around, so I filled them with the kisses. So on to our alternative project. The only thing you need, um, other than everything that comes in your kit for this project, is a piece of um, five and a half by three inch cardstock. Um, I'm using Whisper White and you're going to need one of your um, one of your sayings and I chose to do one of the pumpkins on this. We're going to use the basic gray ink again but we're also going to use some gorgeous grape ink and um, Mango Melody ink if you don't have these particular inks. Um, any two Halloween colors that you have will do, but I hope you will purchase these um, from Stampin' Up! because they have great colors and they match exactly with everything that's in the kit. 
So I'm just going to take, you don't need to have a scoring tool, but it helps. You can use um, if your trimmer has a scoring tool, or even if it just has a groove, you can line it up at these measurements and, um, and it, just take a scoring tool or the narrow end of a bone folder and you'll be able to make the scores of this. So we're going to, on the long five and a half inch side, we're going to score this at, um, let's see, let's score this at one and three quarters and two and a half and four and a quarter and five. And we're just going to set that aside. And we're going to take one of the tags, and I thought I had one here. Um, my kitten may have knocked it off the table, so I'm just going to grab another one out of my kit. Um, and you can use any of the tags to do this with that you might have left over. So let me just grab a tag. And it's already scored at two inches, so we're going to keep that score at the two inch mark, but I'm also going to score it at two and three quarters. That way we have a three quarter inch score on here. And we'll just fold that and set it aside because we're just going to use that kind of as a brace. And that's all you need to do for the scoring. Now for your stamping, we're going to find where your front panel is going to be. And your front panel is going to be um, on this side here or this side there. Um, just for argument's sake, I'm going to use that as my front. Now I'm going to take the little tiny spider stamps that come in the kit and I'm going to stamp the spiders near the top of the front just like that and just for fun I'm going to stamp them on what's going to be the back also. I'm going to take a black mark, and um, a, a gray marker, this is actually the basic gray that matches the basic gray ink that we just used, and with the fine side and a ruler, I'm just going to line this up so that I can make my lines straight. Let's see, let's line that spider up here. I'm just going to take a ruler and I'm going to make his little web like he's coming down from the ceiling right there, and this guy right here. And draw a little line, and we'll do the same with the spiders on the other side, right there, and this spider right here, and we'll put that to the side. I'm also going to take the two little stars um, that come in the kit, and first I'm going to do my lighter color first in the Mango Melody. I'm going to stamp the stars just randomly all over. You don't really have to worry about that last tab there because nobody's going to see it. It's going to attach this. And you can stamp off in some spots. And then I'm just going to clean it off with our little stamping cleaner and take the gorgeous grape and do the same thing just randomly stamp some stars all around let's see and you get the idea A little mess there, so I'm just going to cover that with a star. That's why I like these clear stamps. You can see where you missed, and you can re stamp right there. And put one.
more star right there. And then I'm going to clean this off also on our Simply Chamois stamp cleaner. Okay, I'm just going to put that aside for a second, and I'm going to take a box of Tic Tacs. Um, I couldn't find the Halloween orange or purple Tic Tacs in my store yet, but I'm sure they'll be out soon, or if I were to go to CVS or another pharmacy or something like that, I'm sure I would see them there. So we're going to take some of our Baker's Twine, and we're going to give it about a six inch tail at the top and I'm going to wrap it around and see about three times and then cut the excess off right there and we'll tie a bow at the top of our Tic Tacs. Um, you could use ribbon for this too. It's really pretty with ribbon on the top. But because the kit came with the Baker's Twine, that's what I'm using because I'm trying to show you um, what to do with your leftovers of the kit, or if you didn't need all of those gift bags, you can give these little office gifts or a little teacher appreciation gift or put it in your honey's lunchbox um, or whatever, just as a little spooky treat for this time of the year. I'm going to take some of our tear and tape and those of you who know and have watched my videos know that I can't tear this tape because I've got really bad hand arthritis. I'm a retired tattoo artist and manicurist and um, retired because of the arthritis in my hands but I can still stamp and I can still color with my grandson which is awesome. So we're going to put on the little flap right here that we didn't stamp on. It's the smallest of the sections from where you um from where you scored. So this is like your five inch, so you have a little quarter of an inch left there. And you're gonna take your thing. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, to stamp a sentiment on this. See that we're live, folks. We're live. And uh Christina forgets things sometimes. So we're gonna take our basic gray ink and the it's Halloween, and we're going to stamp that right under your spiders. This one I'm going to stamp um, a little bit lower because this is going to be the back. And put that aside. And we're going to take our pumpkin, and just like we did, for the treat bag, we're going to put the glue dots on the back. No, really, a glue dot. There you go. I'm going to put glue dots on the back. That way we can have the shiny silver foil peeking through. As I mentioned, um, when I was mentioning the product of the week is the Paper Pumpkin. If you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin um, through me, you automatically get enrolled in my Paper Pumpkin Club. And as part of the club, every month I will send you a PDF with five alternate projects. So my subscribers this month get five other alternate projects in addition to this one that I'm showing here. So they'll have six alternates that they can um, that they can make stuff with. So I'm just going to line them up like I did on the treat bag. Do some dimensionals on the back. And it doesn't matter where they are on this because he's going to sit in the middle of the card. And let's see, we're going to put him right here. And we're going to take the word eek. And again, very carefully because it's a very delicate die cut. But it's still cardstock, so it's pretty substantial. And we're just going to put the eek 
in the front there. And then we're going to fold this on the score lines and wrap it around. Nope. See, I'm forgetting something again. We're live again. We're going to put a little bit of adhesive on what's the bottom of your little container here and the tops of this tag. And we're going to put that, let's see, we'll put match up one score line almost near the bottom there and one score line near the bottom there and press it down and then we'll just attach I didn't really think this through did I okay there we go you just kind of tuck it under and match up if you match up there the bottom and you match up the top there it all worked out fine and then you just slide your tic tacs in the reason that we put that in is so that the tic tacs don't fall out of the bottom because they'll slide right through that it doesn't really have to be centered or anything it's just to hold it in place so you slide your tic tacs in the holder and there you go you have a little tic tac gifty holder so that's my alternate project for you for this evening for the live. Um, I hope you'll sign up for Paper Pumpkin. That way I can send you the PDF for um, your alternate projects next week. Again, I'm going to bring in our treat bags that we made earlier. So there you go. Super simple, super easy, and super quick. Um, again, I hope you like, your video, like this video. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up on Facebook or give it a thumbs up on um, YouTube. Um, subscribe to my channel, join the Facebook group, join the Facebook page. Um, and if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, just give me a shout and we'll hook you up. Bye-bye, friends. Have a great night.